Hi guys, Jenna here and I'm back with another 12 by 12 process video for you today and this one's for the Paige Evans Silhouette Design Team and I'm using this gorgeous uh, peacock cut file, it's just beautiful, <laughs> um, I saw it and I had to use it. So um, I'm using a real mix of pattern papers from the Whimsical collection and I'm just going to go through and start back in the cut file, I'm not going to lie, it took a long time, I did contemplate about halfway through leaving some of the feathers open but um, ultimately decided uh, it would look just gorgeous absolutely fully backed so that's what I do I'm just going to plot along and use a bunch of pattern papers from the 6x6 paper pad the 12 by 12 paper pad and then I pull in some pieces from um, paper 19 there's a purple one as well um, paper 14 11 3 18 23 2 and 20 so I've pulled in a lot of colors but all of these I've pretty much cut into already so they're just like scrap pieces that were handy for me to back the cut file with. Now I'm really playing on colors that you would probably normally find in a peacock of course you wouldn't find pink um, well, I don't think you would <laughs> um, but I do bring in a bit of pink at the base and then I work out to like purple blues and greens and the other kind of colors that you'd find in a, um, a gorgeous peacock so um, that's the colors that I'm focusing on and just using a bunch of different shades of them so here's a bit of a uh, progress um, shot I'm probably about halfway through and I'm just working on some the purple section there um, so you can see I've started with pink with the body of the bird and then worked my way out so I'm just cutting pretty much little squares big enough to back each of the sections pop in a bit of glue placing that bit of paper on top and then I just grab my little fussy cut and scissors and trim off the excess so I think it probably took me about four hours all up, um, but totally worth it I think um, because I really don't need to do much more on the page once this cut files back. So there we go, it's all finished, gorgeously uh, colourful. And the photo I'm using today is of Edison, she's um, just had a haircut, um, I gave her a haircut, it's like probably her first big proper haircut where I could actually style her hair a bit and she looks super cute so um that's where I'm going with with the title and the reason for using the peacock cut file and I'm just flicking through some of the 12 by 12 pattern papers here and trying to work out what I could use from a background so I first try the light blue and this pink but everything's quite busy this peacock's really busy and I wanted to shine so I'm just trying to find a suitable background that's um, that I guess fits well with the peacock but doesn't um, take away from it <clears throat> so my directions probably more that green pinky purpley which I've narrowed it down to these few pattern papers so I've got a purple I really love this purple um, and then we've got this pink pattern and I ultimately decide either these two purple or light pink and I go with the light pink I felt like that was just a little bit more softer and that peacock could really stand on its own so I'm going to trim off the branding strip, um, that pattern paper is number one, on the back is all the cutter parts. Um, so I thought about just flipping up those feathers at the edge of the cut file just for a little bit of dimension. I'm not going to pop the whole thing up on foam, just those um, tips of the feathers. So that's what I've done, just bent them up a little bit and then I'm going to pop two layers of adhesive foam just on the edge of those feathers just for some thin strips. There we go, that's all done. And then I'm going to use my ATG. Oops, and I've made a big old mess. Die cuts. <laughs> and I'm just going to put ATG around the whole base of that cut file. And then just lay it in place on a little bit of an angle. Kind of right justified. I apologise if you can hear thumping. Edison's running up and down the hallway. It's school holidays which are always fun <laughs> okay so and a little bit of glue behind that adhesive foam as well I'm going to trim off the excess and there we go now I can start to kind of pull in my photo and work on my title so I'm using a couple of pieces from the 6x6 paper pad to back my photo with and because my photo is going to be down towards the body of the bird we've got pink down there so I'm going to layer some pink pattern papers behind my photo so we've got this darker pink and then this light pink ombre just some really thin borders of it 
just help to tie it into that peacock a layer of adhesive foam so I can tuck things under it and then I'm just going to sit it there the reason I popped it there is because of the direction that she's looking so she's looking to the right of the page so I'm going to put her over to the left <coughs> Okay, so I wanted to bring in this die cut that says pretty, that's going to form part of my title, and the title's going to be as pretty as a peacock. <laughs> you see how we're getting in that peacock there? <laughs> um, and that gave me the opportunity to use that die cut as well. I really wanted to use one of these little um, tassels, though, nice and soft, and they kind of remind me of the feeling of a feather. Um, <laughs> any excuse. So I've used a purple one, because it's kind of over by the purple section of the bird, and I'm going to bring in the as, word as, with these pink mini foam thickers and just pop that at the top and then I'll finish off the rest of my title down the bottom after I've done some embellishing. Okay I'm going to have a quick little look through this die cut pack and I found a little green and gold foiled heart and I thought I could get that on because of a lot of green in the peacock and I really wanted to bring in some of these flowers today because there's some really solid coloured ones and I think that they'd work perfectly for my love of tone on tone embellishing so that's what I'm going to bring in so I'm just hunting through finding all the purples the pinks and the blues and the greens um, that I can um, to add to the layout so there's a few in there I did contemplate fuzzy cutting that so it didn't have a white border but um, ultimately decided not to I had quite a few flowers and they're quite large so I didn't want to overrun the page okay so I'm going to start with working on placing them in the same color area of the bird and you can see I quickly start with four I end up with four clusters and the balance is just off um, even numbers really don't look pleasing to my eye <laughs> so here we go I quickly move that purple up to the blue section and then this dark maroney pink um, color gets moved in with the pink section and it's a lot a lot better now we've got a nice uh, triangle going there and it's just kind of drawing your eye around the page okay so all my greens in one section blues and purples in one and then pinks in the other and I'm just popping some gold and cream base leaves down the bottom in that section. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to glue them all down. I don't make you watch it all, but I'll do show you a little bit. So some of them are going to be glued directly to the background, and then others are going to have a foam on them, just to bring dimension to those clusters, and some layers. So this leaf's going directly to the cut file. Some foam behind this green one, and then a little heart. I'm going to pop up on some foam as well, and layer that. And we'll start on the blue. So I'm going to do leaves uh, glued directly to the background because they're at the base of that cluster. So is this. Purple flower I'm going to pop up on foam. And this blue one I'm going to do a layer of foam as well. And this gold one foam as well. Okay, so I'm just finishing it off now. I've glued down my photo all of that and it's pretty I've just popped up on a little bit of foam so that it sits on top of that paper clip nicely and I can finish off my title now um, so I'm putting in as a um, using the pink mini foam thickers and then I'm going to spell out peacock uh, using the same colors that's in that cut file so we've got blues and greens and pinks and purples going in so I do place it here to the right of the photo and then quickly decide um, I quickly decide that I didn't want it there it was kind of floating so I'm going to bring it back over underneath that photo and move that as a um, on top of the photo and it fits a lot better it's a nice in line kind of title because okay, so I want to bring in a few more bits and pieces so I have a quick look through the chipboard stickers and I found this soft pink frame so that's going to get tucked um, I've just trimmed it a little bit off and I'm going to tuck that to the left under the photo that's bringing a little bit of interest to the left of the photo and I'm going to go through the sticker book and find a few little flowers we've got a gold one with a green leaf up the top there um, I popped a little pink one up there because it was on the pink section but it looked off within that cluster so I'd bring it down to the photo to those um, pink flowers down there and it looks a lot better and I do find a blue one to pop up in that cluster up there so I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue behind them because uh, that cut file is um, not a smooth surface so they don't want to stick too well. Um, I've got a little, few little puffy stickers and green leaves so I'm going to tuck them into that green cluster I've got going on. A little pink flower down there, a blue and purple butterfly and a 
did try to get this pink butterfly on, but I thought it was getting a bit too much going on. Um, I'm going to bring in some rub-ons. Uh, I love these rub-ons. The little faux stitching elements are perfect little touches for layout. So I'm going to bring in some of them. Um, again with the tone on tone. So I'm bringing green up to the top here. Some little X's. And I'm just trying to find some that will work. So we've got some blue. And some pink. So I'm cutting out. So my... Well, they're probably more a bit of a ready pinky colour, but you can't quite tell. So I'm going to spread them around down the pink area. And we've got to blue. I'm going to pop up here at the top. And a few more pink I'm going to scatter around because this cluster is my main focal point because it's got the photo and the title um, within it. So I'm going to scatter a few more of them around. And I'm going to add a couple of enamel dots. I'm going to use these butterflies. So we're going to go with these dark blue tealy colour, which I bring over to the blue cluster. I'm going to use two up there. And some green I'm going to add over to the green. I'm going to add one purple one over there. And then a couple of pink ones down in that cluster. I'm going to pop a little bit of glue behind them just to make sure they stay put. And some behind the pink. And then lastly, just for a little bit of interest in some more gold. There's not enough gold on my layout, I've decided. <laughs> um, some splatters of some gold Liquitex acrylic ink um, all around the page and all over the cut file as well, um, just because it's pretty. <laughs> but after that, that's it for my layout. I hope you enjoyed the process and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.